throughout the last four years, there's no, uh, there's no history of, of Sheffield United dwelling on, on bad performances. So how much confidence do you take from that with, with Everton on the horizon on Monday night? Yeah, knowing what the player's character is, is about, and, and, and rightly so, you know, from a statistical point of view, yeah, we can look, look back on that. And um, so I'm sure there will be. It doesn't guarantee the result. You know, you're playing, uh, you know, top end Premier League fixture here, um, a team that's outside the top 10 and a team that's inside the top 10. Um, our form is, is, is good. I think, you know, out of the games that we've played, the average points per, you know, sort of equates to about what we are now, really, um, 53, 54 points, which is, a, which is a fabulous achievement for a newly promoted side. Um, but doesn't dampen the the um, the feeling that, that that we had after the game on uh, on Thursday, um, so nobody saw it coming. Um, I certainly did. Didn't uh, you know? I think you you understand that. You know, I saw it. I would have I'd have acted on it, and of course I would have took action on it. But I didn't. I thought the players were in a really good place, and um, from nowhere we put, we produced that. So. I should imagine uh, whoever's done the press today, it's Jack or, or, or whoever it would have been, that they'll give their, uh, their view um, from a player's point of view. I would be really surprised if, uh, if they thought it was, uh, it, was, it was good enough or, 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 or the standard that they've set uh, in terms of trying to win a game of football. You won at Goodison earlier in the season under Marco Silva. What differences, if any at all, I suppose, do you notice in Ancelotti's Everton? Well, there will be uh, obviously quick turnaround from uh, from Thursday to, to to Monday, so we'll we'll work on certain aspects. Um, but played all different types of uh, of formations. Um, got a couple of players back. Gomez is back. Got a couple of players missing. Um, difficult during uh, during a season to really you know uh, stick your mark on it from a recruitment point of view, as you can expect. But I'm sure. Things will change in, in the summer, but certainly from, from the position that they were in um, and the Premier League as, as it is, you know, it's, uh, um, it's not like any other division in terms of the fixtures up and coming. And I, I, if, I, if I can remember back to that period, I think they had a really tough run of fixtures as well when, when the manager came in. So to take themselves out of the relegation um, zone uh, into challenging uh, for a European place up until maybe two or three games ago, I think obviously shows that what effect he, he, he has had um, on, on them um, in terms of um, in terms of the performances, in terms of their attitude. You know, as I said, they played all different types of formations, but the man's a serial winner. As I said about you know Jose Mourinho, uh, he wins games of football, he achieves things, um, he manages top clubs. Um, he wins Champions Leagues and, um, and domestic titles and, um, and um, he's a winner. So, um, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't leave him um, just because maybe he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's taken over a new job.